have a good clone. A good clone fragrance to talk about. Like a clone for I need them. Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here, welcome back to Gen Sense. I am not losing my mind. It's okay. It's under control. You know how every so often a clone fragrance comes out? <laughs> it's just really good. Like really, really stupidly good. Yeah, we got one of those today. So some examples in the past, uh, La Tafa Camera, when that first hit, uh, Detour Noir from Ahara Main, stuff like that. You know, those type of fragrances, those type of clones where you smell them and just immediately you go, oh, they nailed it. A lot of the time nowadays, to be fair, clone fragrances are really well done. Maybe not like a bullseye, but still very competently done. Uh, you don't get too many stinkers nowadays, but you also don't typically get fragrance clones that are just absolutely freaking amazing. This one is. It's from Latafa and it's called Vintage Radio. I, I don't know exactly how the fragrance translates to that name, but that's the name they went with. It's, it's a fine name, it's, it's, yeah. It even has a picture of the radio right there on the front. So yeah, this one is from Latafa, part of their Latafa Pride collection. And uh, I'll have it linked down in the description. Now, as of when I'm filming this video, it is not ultra easy to find. By the time this goes live, maybe it's available at discounters, maybe it's not. Uh, a lot of people right now are having to find this on eBay, basically, and some other smaller stores, places like that. Latafa Pride is a, a weird line of fragrances. I bought a bunch of them in the past. I did a haul that had maybe like four or five from the Pride collection, and this one was not part of that haul. Lucky me, buy a whole bunch of fragrances randomly from the line and don't get the best one. Nice. But that's okay, because I have it now and I'm gonna share it with you. Before we take a look at the presentation, here are a bunch of codes that you can use at different websites to save money should you decide to shop at any of them. Max Aroma and Twisted Lily have the hookup on niche fragrances. Gents 10 will save you 10% at each of those. Gents 20 at Max Aroma, 20% off depending on the fragrance. And then of course, GS11 at Fragflex to save 11% off. All right, let's take a closer look at this presentation. So here is your outer box. It has on the front there, the name of the fragrance, name of the house, size and concentration. It's an Eau de Parfum 100 mil size and uh, also has a picture of the bottle there for you. On top of the box, it says Latafa Pride. On the back, you have your sticker, your ingredients, and your badge code. And on the bottom, you just have a, a little hole where you can push the box out that's on the inside there. Also on the inside of the box, you will find this, a booklet. So this essentially just has a bunch of fragrances from Latafa, Latafa Pride, and there are a bunch. So if you wanted to, you could flip through there and maybe find yourself your next fragrance that you want. Dantiquities 1886. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I know what that is. Oh, there's Masa. Nice, nice. Raw Human, everyone's favorite, if you're a cannibal. So you get a little booklet in there as well. And then this box is inside that box. Has on the front the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size, and concentration. Has a, a little bit of a, a rubbery feel to it. And then it opens up like so. And your box just sits right down inside there. Kind of looks like a little Zippo. Yeah. Here's the bottle. It's very interesting looking. It's got kind of a rubbery feel to it when you hold it in your hand. And then uh, the vintage radio that's on the front there actually has some texture to it. So it pops out a little bit, 3D effect. You've got the name of the fragrance right there on the front, size and concentration once again. On the cap, it says Latafa and then Latafa Pride on the back. Little sticker on the bottom and the cap clicks into place. That sounded cool. Let's go ahead and share a couple sprays of vintage radio here. Let's do it. Pretty nice. <laughs> Guys, I am telling you, this stuff smells fantastic. Off a tester strip, it is unbelievably good. Off skin, extremely good as well. So this one is a clone of Initio Parfums Paragon. So if you've smelled Paragon, 
that's what this one is going to remind you of. And it is extremely well done, as I keep saying. But when you spray this on, oh, it just has one of those openings you wanna smell over and over and over again. It has such an appealing sweetness off the top. So this one has bergamot in there as a top note. It has plum in the mid. Uh, honestly, the note breakdown is, is pretty much the same as uh, Paragon is, so. But it has this bright freshness, opens up very early on, and has more of a deep sweetness underneath. It has like a touch of candied sweetness to it, but it doesn't become something that's overly sugary. So it keeps everything in check. You have a, a faint touch, faint touch of aromatics there, but those are underneath that fruit, underneath that sweetness, just adds a little complexity, a little depth. It has this great zinginess to it, this sparkle. So you have freshness and sweetness and a deepness to it, but then at the same time, it's very uplifting off the top. And it smells so much more expensive than it is. This is one of those fragrances where you, you really think to yourself, like, how do you even pull that off? How do you even have it smell that good in terms of quality and then be that cheap? It's, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. As it dries down, you get woodiness that comes out, Palo Santo, sandalwood. Oud is a note in here, but you don't really get the, the oudiness at all. The woodiness is a little bit creamy. It still maintains a nice pop of spice as it dries down. Uh, not overwhelming, the spiciness, just a little flair. And even the wood has kind of a freshness to it. So it, it's this great juxtaposition, fresh on this side, deep and sweet on this side, and they just meld and play together the entire time. This is one of those Latafa fragrances that's gonna be, for me, one of the best. This goes right up there immediately with Kamra and some of the other ones that they've done uh, from Maison Alhambra or Latafa that are just must owns, especially if you like Paragon. If you like that fragrance from Initio, you want an affordable alternative, there you go. This is what you need. And to make it even better, it has the performance to boot. It lasts a long time. It projects heavily. This is one of those scents that you don't have to go crazy heavy with. If you want to just spray a few sprays, it's going to last a long, long time and get you noticed. And yeah, that's another thing it does well, <laughs> get you noticed because of that sweetness mixing with the freshness. And then you have that, again, creamy woodiness underneath that provides a really nice base for everything to play off of this thing will get you noticed. It's a compliment puller. To be fair, so is the Initio, and that's what this is emulating, so it makes sense. You know, it's like uh, Detour Noir being similar to Layton. If Layton is gonna get you compliments, so is that. Same thing as that play here. And then the versatility here is great as well. Daytime or evening, fall, winter, or spring. Uh, during summer, I'd probably go for something else just because this does have pretty good push to it. Like I said, lasts a long time and has a good amount of sweetness right from the opening into the dry down. So during summer, if it's really hot and I'm gonna be around a lot of people, I'm gonna go for something else. If you're somewhere where it's air conditioned or something like that, yeah, go for it. So yeah, that is vintage radio. This stuff is fantastic. Really, really, really good. And uh, truth be told, the first haul that I did of those, um, Latafa Pride fragrances that I got. They weren't bad, they weren't bad, but there wasn't one that really just immediately blew me away. And so I wasn't looking to pick up more of them until now. Legitimately at this point, I'm kind of wanting to just flip through this book and be like, well, let me see if I can get that one. Let me see if I can yeah, get that one too. Hmm. Oh, and that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of what's going through my head right now because I kind of feel like this can't be the only one that's just absolutely amazing, right? Right? Right. So that's it, guys. Vintage Radio. If you can pick this up for a good price point, you got to check it out. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.